Hello and welcome back to Make Your Mind. Today we're going to be taking our orange good old-fashioned single color clay here and we are going to be turning this into a shark. Now to start off we're going to go ahead and take this piece. I broke off this piece earlier. I'm going to put that to the side and then we're going to go ahead and work with this piece to start. You're going to roll it on your surface like so. Until you start to make this. Look at that. We're already starting to look at it. Now, we're going to do the same thing to this side, but we're not going to make it as long. So we're going to put a lot of pressure down, but not roll it as much. What we're doing is we're simply rolling this over so that way we can get that snout, especially the way that's supposed to look. As you can see, that's already starting to look like that, so now we're going to pinch, pull, and we'll roll that in so that way it becomes a point. And just like that, look, that is how we're going to start. Now we're going to start off with the tail. Very similar to the dolphin sculpture I made in an earlier video. If you'd like that, go ahead and click down on the channel below. You can see that video for yourself, a tutorial on how to make a dolphin. I'll leave a link in the description to it down below. And so here we go. We're going to start off with the tail. Now we have enough to be able to make a tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch to flatten this and then we're going to roll it back. Then we're going to pinch it again and roll and pinch it again on the top and the bottom. And as you can see, it's already starting to look a little like a tail, but now we got to work on the details. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and our pointer finger here and we're going to pinch and pull and flatten out and then pull and then flatten out and then pinch it out as we go. Now that's starting to look like a tail. Now we have quite a bit down here so with a shark tail the top of it is taller than the bottom part. So what we're going to do is we're going to break off that little bit. We'll save that for later and then we're going to pinch and flat, pinch flat, only just enough to give us that shape that we're looking for. Now we're going to go ahead and finish that off. I'm going to pinch all the way down here to make the way the tail looks. And look at that, now we already have the shark. That tail already looks perfect. Now, just like the dolphin, we're now going to do the top fin. Now the dorsal fin that's on the tarp, now with sharks, there's actually have two dorsal fins, so we're gonna do two on here. We're gonna take that spare clay ball that we had earlier, we're gonna put the piece down. We're gonna take that and roll a piece off like so. Roll that out, split that off. Now we wanna to try to make this to scale as best we can. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and we're going to put it now this is going to be the top, as you can see the way the fin is. Look at that, it's already starting to look like it. We'll pinch that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tip, and we're going to point it inwards towards the front of the head, and then we're going to flatten, and then we're going to use our thumb to roll it in, to blend that fin into the rest of the body. So that way it looks like it's all part of the same piece. So now we'll go ahead and put finishing touches. Now sharks have a very straight dorsal fin, not a super curved one like a dolphin does. And there you have it. Look at that. It's already starting to look like a shark. Now we're going to take that little piece that we broke off earlier and we're going to put it about midway, maybe a little bit further back. Actually, yeah, we'll put it a little further back for the second dorsal fin that goes right here. We're going to do the same technique with this fin as we'll do with this one. Pinch it and get it to a point, like so. And then you see that little extra right there? We're going to go ahead and blend that in. There we go. Now the camera's focusing. So let's go ahead and push that to the point. We can also make it a little stubby. There we go. And look at that. Now we have both dorsal fins and the tail and the snout. And so now what we got to do is we got to put on the pectoral fins. 
Now sharks not only have a pectoral fin, but they have a pelvic fin as well that's back here. We're going to start out with the pectorals. So we have this piece right here. We're going to go ahead and take our spare, roll off another piece right around the same size, and that is going to be our pectoral fins. All right, so the pectoral fins are a little bit further from the dorsal fin. So we're going to go ahead and roll that in. See how it's already starting to look like it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our thumb to blend that in. Then blend the bottom in like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same technique with both dorsal fins and the tail. We're going to pinch, pull, pinch, pull, pinch, and pull, like so, and then refine that shape from there, and look at that, now that, that is starting to look like a shark, that is so cool, alright, let's do the same thing for the other side, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to blend in with our thumb, like so, now make sure when you're making the dorsal fin that it's on the lower section of the body, you see that? You can't have the fin too high in the middle, it needs to be down low, because that is how the how actual sharks look like. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here, we're going to roll the bottom in to blend that in, and then we're going to pinch and pull, pinch, pull, pinch, pull, and then we're going to blend in the top there. And look at that. That is already looking like a shark. Go ahead and touch up that little bit right there. Touch up that little bit there. And look at that. Now the next section we're going to be doing is the pelvic fins. Now some sharks actually have a third fin on the bottom here, which we're actually going to be adding later on. So let's go ahead and make the pelvic fins. So the pelvic fins going to make two small pieces like so. I'm going to make them a little smaller. And then the pelvic fins are going to be sort of midway section here. So we're going to do the same thing as we did with the pectorals. We're going to do the same thing with the pelvic fins. We're going to go ahead and pinch those in and pinch and pull. And try to blend those in like so. And then we're going to repeat the same process with the other side. Ooh, that piece is a little small. Let's go ahead and take a piece off and add to it. And then that way, there we go. Now you pinch and pull and pinch and pull. And you want to try to make it as even as you can. Now look at that. Fix the fin a little bit. There we go. And that. There's no mistaking what that looks like. Let's give it a little bit of an action pose. So if you see that coming at you, you know exactly what it is. There's no doubt about that at all. All right, now the next step we're gonna be putting is the third fin. It's very, very small, it's very faint. So we're going to go ahead and put that and do the same technique with all the other fins. And there we go. Now we're going to make the tail a little bit flatter. Like so. And there we go. Now we got to get to the business end of the shark, the mouth. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, how in the world are you going to make a mouth? It's actually very simple. All it requires is your thumb. What you're going to do is you're going to put your thumb right towards the top of the snout here, and then you're going to roll the clay very gently, and you're going to roll it open.
front of the dorsal fin and right behind the eye. So actually what we're going to do, we're going to move these fins a little bit further back to make it a little closer to realistic. And look at that, I even put a little back, a little back on that fin to make it even more realistic. There we go, that's what it's supposed to look like. Now we're going to take that little circle that we did. We're going to roll it like so and make it into this shape if you can see that there. And then we're going to place it there. And we're going to do the same thing with the next one. We're going to place it right on top, right there. And then the next one. it more a little correct to scale that's gonna go there now you see how that's already starting to look like gill slits we're gonna put four on each side there we go so now we have those four then what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply take our thumb and flatten them There we have it. There is our gill slits. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut to that. And there we go. So now we've got the gill slits on both sides. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. This is our single color, well, almost single color. I did put the black eyes on here, just to give it a little contrast. Here is our shark sculpture. About to say, there is no mistaking looking at what that is. Got it with a pose. As it's swimming through the water, you gotta, they swim in a side to side motion, so you wanna give it a sort of realistic look. Let's go ahead and grab our pedestal real quick. This beautiful piece of this beautiful piece of walnut that I have right here. And there we go. Check that out. Of course, with this sculpt, I did not use any tools. All I simply used was the fingers that I was given to me. So if anybody wants to make clay sculptures and they say, "Oh, can't do it. Don't have any tools." You don't need tools. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. I know the shark appreciates it very much. If you enjoy content like this, whether you find it entertaining, calming, or even informative, go ahead and leave a like down below. Leave a comment for any requests on future videos, and please subscribe. The subscription that you give me gives me the motivation to create more content. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with that happy face, thank you very much for watching. And enjoy your day. Thank you.